truncation errors in numerical differentiation. Uh, y of i plus 1 is nothing but f of x of i plus 1. Okay. So, f of x of i plus 1 we will write that approximately uh, equal to we will take a Taylor series expansion around x i. Okay. So, that is approximately equal to f of x i plus uh, x i minus uh, x i minus 1, we will write that as delta x f dash of x i plus delta x squared by 2 factorial f double dash of x i plus dot dot dot. Okay. That is what our y i plus 1 uh, is, is going, uh, going to be. Okay. So, likewise we can write y i minus 1 also. So, I will just write y i plus 1 again in the shorthand notation y i plus 1 is equal to y i plus delta x multiplied by y dash i plus delta x squared by 2 factorial multiplied by y double dash i plus delta x cube by 3 factorial multiplied by uh, in this particular case we will write f triple dash of zeta where zeta is some point lying between x i and x i plus 1. Okay. We get this using the uh, 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 mean value theorem uh, we we are able to obtain this okay likewise we will be able to write as y i minus 1 as y i minus delta x times y dash i plus delta x squared by 2 factorial y double dash i minus delta x cube by 3 factorial f triple dash of zeta Okay. Now, what we will do is subtract these two equations. If we subtract these two equations, okay, we will get y i plus 1 minus y i minus 1 is going to be equal to uh, y i and y i will get cancelled, we will get x delta x plus delta x multiplied by y dash. So, it is going to be 2 times delta x multiplied by y i dash. These terms are again going to get cancelled and this will be plus 2 times delta x cube by 3 factorial multiplied by f triple dash of zeta. Okay. We divide throughout by 2 delta x and we take this particular uh, uh, term on to the left hand side uh, rearranging we will we'll get the final result that is y i dash is going to be equal to y i plus 1 minus y i minus 1 divided by 2 delta x. Okay, we have divided throughout. We have taken this two delta x and divided throughout. Okay, so this two and this two will get cancelled. Instead of delta x cubed, we'll have delta x squared. And because we have taken this term to the other side, it will get a negative sign. Okay, so we'll have this as minus delta x squared by three factorial f triple dash of zeta. Okay. This part is the central difference approximation. Okay, and this represents the truncation error. And in the central difference approximation, the truncation error is proportional to 
delta x squared okay so that means if you make the delta x 1/10 the truncation error is going to reduce by 100 if you double the delta x you are going to make the uh, make the error truncation error in dy by dx four times greater okay so that's what this this particular thing means so uh, in in conclusion yi dash that is the first derivative of yi using the central difference approximation is yi plus 1 minus yi divided by 2 twice delta x and the truncation error in the central difference is of the order of delta x squared okay now let's look at the forward difference approximation in forward difference approximation let's go back to what we had written over here okay what we'll do is we'll take uh, yi on to the left hand side and divide throughout by delta x when we do that what we'll get is yi plus 1 minus yi divided by delta x is going to be equal to y i dash plus delta x by 2 factorial f double dash of i plus bunch of other terms this is the leading term uh, over here uh, based on another mean uh, again applying mean value theorem this term will become delta x divided by 2 factorial f double dash of some value some other value zeta we'll just call it zeta bar because this the zeta is different may be different from this particular zeta okay so in this particular case this becomes our forward difference approximation and this represents the truncation error okay and truncation error in forward difference approximation is proportional to delta x to the power 1 or it's proportional to delta x okay and going back to the geometric interpretation that we had of uh, newton's forward difference and backward difference and central difference formula uh, this is what we we had seen with forward backward and central difference forward backward and central difference and what we had stated at that time is from this particular cartoon it looks as if central difference approximation does a better job of uh, approximating the actual uh, derivative numerically compared to the forward difference and the backward difference Uh, the derivation that we have obtained using the taylor series approximation over here verifies that particular geometric intuition or the geometric claim that we had made in the in the previous uh, 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 previous part of this lecture that truncation error reduces as delta x squared for uh, central difference whereas it reduces as delta x to the power 1 for the forward difference approximation so at this stage we'll end the uh, module 1 uh, sorry lecture 1 of module 6 uh, what we have covered so far is uh, forward and uh, central difference approximation for the first derivative of uh, uh, of uh, any function f of x what we'll cover in the next lecture is to look at the higher derivatives that is f double dash f triple dash of x so on and so forth as well as higher order accurate formula Uh, we will use another different method uh, called the method of undetermined coefficients in order to det uh, determine uh, the, the higher order formula also and finally we will finish off with uh, talking about truncation versus round of errors. Okay. So what we have seen so far is how to get the first derivative of uh, uh, that is dy by dx given some kind of a function f of x either a function f of x or discrete value of f of x at certain given points of of x uh, we have looked at how we'll get the first the differential with that 
now let us look at this how to get the second derivative uh, from this. So, what we want to get uh, actually is d squared y by d x squared at x equal to x i. Okay. So, this is what we are interested in, uh, in getting where y equal to f of x. So, that that is the overall, overall function uh, that we have. Uh, as we had done before, what I will do is I will write down the same expressions all over again is f of uh, x i plus 1 is f of x i plus delta x times f dash of x i plus delta x squared times f double dash of x i plus delta x cube times f triple dash of zeta and I forgot divided by 2 factorial and divided by 3 factorial over here. Okay. So, this is the overall, overall expression uh, that we get uh, on expanding f of x i plus 1. Likewise, we will expand f of x i minus 1 and that is going to be f of x i minus delta x times f dash of x i plus delta x squared by three fact, 2 factorial uh, f double dash of x i plus uh, sorry minus delta x cube by 3 factorial f triple dash of x i plus dot dot dot. In fact, I will change this to f triple dash of x i plus dot dot dot. Okay. Now, I will add these two equations. So, when I add these two equations, we will get f of x i plus 1 plus f of x i minus 1 is going to be equal to twice f of x i this term and this term will get cancelled these this term will be retained. So, it is 2 times delta x square multiplied by f double dash divided by 2. So, we will have plus delta x squared f double dash of x i this term and this term will get cancelled the leading term that will remain is going to be 2 times delta x to the power 4 divided by 4 factorial f 4 dashes of x i plus dot dot dot. Okay. So, this is the leading error term that, uh, that we have and for this part of the equation we will apply uh, the overall uh, mean value theorem and we will convert from x i to zeta where zeta is going to be any point that lies between uh, x i minus 1 and x i plus 1. Okay. Uh, so, we will what we will do is we will take this 2 uh, twice f of x i on to uh, uh, so uh, all the terms rather except delta square f double dash all other terms we will take on uh, to the left hand side and divide throughout by delta x squared. So, when we do that we will have f of x i plus 1 plus f of x i minus 1 minus 2 times f of x i okay, minus uh, so uh, 4 factorial is going to be 4 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 1 um, that guy divided by 2 is going to be 4 multiplied by 3 which is essentially 12. So, minus delta x to the power 4 by 12 f 1 2 3 4 of zeta is going to be equal to delta x square f double dash of x i okay. and we divide delta x square throughout and we will get our final result is f double dash of x i is going to be equal to f of x i plus 1 minus twice f of x i plus f of x i minus 1 divided by delta x squared okay, 
So, if we look at this particular uh, expression, it is f of x i plus 1 plus f of x i minus 1 minus twice f of x i divided by delta x squared and this is the residual term which would be delta x squared by 12 multiplied by f 4 dash of zeta. So, minus delta x squared by 12 f 1 2 3 4 of zeta. Okay. So, this is the central difference formula okay and this is the error in the numerical derivative okay so what we have seen so far is that for the central difference formula either whether we are going to use uh, the central difference formula for finding f double dash or we are going to use the central difference formula for finding f dash uh, which we ob ob observe that the error is proportional to delta x squared. Okay. So, as we reduce our delta x to smaller and smaller values the error the truncation error in fact reduces uh, as, uh, as the delta x is reduced. Okay. Uh, and in in the forward difference method or the backward difference method for getting f dash uh, that reduction is directly proportional to delta x whereas in the central difference method it is proportional to delta x squared as a result of this the central difference methods are going to be more accurate than the forward or the backward difference methods okay so uh, in order to summarize the other f dash x values that we had gotten f dash of x i was equal to f of x i minus f of x i minus 1 divided by delta x plus error was of the order of delta x f dash of x i that we wrote as uh, the central difference formula was f of x i plus 1 minus f of x i minus 1 divided by twice delta x plus order of delta x squared okay and uh, like this we had also we could also write the forward difference method where f dash of x i was equal to f of x i plus 1 minus f of x i divided by delta x okay so these are the derivations based on the taylor series expansion